Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Satellite picture in the radar showing just a partly cloudy skies outside right now, but still a pretty nice evening outside to say the least. How about we started off a very mild 52 degrees. That's pretty close to the average high temperature for this time of the year. We only missed it by six degrees and then we warmed up to 76 degrees, tying the all time record on the state. Last time it was 76 degrees on the state was back in 2012, just five years ago, not too far back. How about starting off a mild 48 degrees? Uh, overnight last night at the Asheville Regional Airport, it warmed up to 70 degrees. That is 17 degrees above the average and missed the record by 6 degrees, 76 degrees set back in 1982. Live shot in Asheville right now. Traffic seems flowing along nicely in I-26. This is northbound. This is southbound I-26, exit 33, Bavard Road, and it looks pretty nice. Mid-60s currently in Asheville. Same story in Hendersonville. It's 72 in Greenville, also in Anderson, Lawrence, and in Newberry. 70 in Spartanburg, and currently 74 degrees in Tacoa. Very little wind to speak of across the area, as you can see. Humidity levels not extremely high, but they'll go up a little bit tonight. Expect some patchy fog, but not as widespread dense fog as we had, especially in the valleys and the mountains of North Carolina, and especially in Asheville. 65 degree temperature, as I mentioned, in Nashville. 74 in Atlanta. 76 in Columbia. So nice out. Look at the warmth to our west. Still 67 in St. Louis, 67 in Cincinnati. Should be in the upper 40s, 20 degrees above the average this time of the year. This looks like middle and end of March, not really the end of February. And look at the warm temperatures out in Oklahoma and Texas, which I'll show you in just a second. This storm system slowly swirling out to sea off the east coast of Florida. Storm system with snow back in Nebraska and the Dakotas. This system's going to move all the energy this way. A potential for severe thunderstorms tomorrow through the Ohio River Valley and heading toward the northeast. Trailing cold front could march risk for severe weather for us and I'll talk more about that in just a second. Look at the I think it might be a front right about here. It's 85 in Oklahoma City. Eagle behind the front it drops to 25 degrees in Denver. Unbelievable. That warmth will be here because it's ahead of this front south of the warm front east of the cold front. So we're going to be in the warm sector during the day tomorrow. Thunderstorms will fire up along this front. They could be severe especially from Really, I think Kentucky northbound. Watch as the line moves very quickly across the area tomorrow night. Maybe a brief shower uh, Saturday morning in the upstate. Otherwise, then just expect sunshine, windy conditions, but a cold wind in the mountains, but not a bad wind in the upstate until Saturday night. So partly the mostly cloudy skies, maybe a few sprinkles or some drizzle late tonight toward morning. Low temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow. We can expect morning cloudiness, some patchy fog, not widespread fog. Once it burns off, partly sunny skies and nice and warm. High temperature reaching the upper 70s in the upstate, low 70s in the mountains. And then those leftover showers early Saturday morning, just windy conditions, cold on Saturday in the mountains, but not bad in the upstate. And then a chilly night, Saturday night, Sunday night into Monday with rain in the afternoon. But we warm back up next week.